Hello, everyone. Welcome to another Die Inspired Miniature Painting here on Roll em If You Got Them. I'm Carl, and as always, joined by Dakota. Hey, guys. This little guy here is Clovis. Um, we start with our Slap Chop Miniature that I've also dry brushed the game color Pale Flesh, and then give that time to dry, obviously, and start painting over it with the Crusader Skin Speed Paint. This is pretty much become my uh, preferred way of doing skin tones here with the speed paints and we're just picking out the uh, skin bits on the face and the hands here's the image of clovis and then a couple of his friends that i've painted um different poses for him in the show and i forgot to kind of take this shot before doing the skin tone but there we go Next here, we are just picking out some of the black bits on the chain mill. Um, we're going to see Grim Black come out multiple times this video because you would think like, hey, he has a big metal shield. You should paint that while you're at it. Well, I, I, I didn't. I don't. I, I don't know. But yes, the first uh, appearance here of Grim Black speed paint. And, you know, this has also become my, kind of my favorite way to do metals uh just hit them with the grim black and then i'll hit them with a metallic color later and uh pick all that stuff out in like a dry brush paint kind of uh half and half sort of on them yeah that's a really easy and great way i think to do um do your metallics especially if you're kind of going fast i mean I, i've used it before for some for some miniatures miniatures but not all of them yeah yeah it's it's the uh the kind of the quick and dirty of it next we're pulling out slaughter red for the first time here and picking out his little medallion thing here uh don't i i use slaughter red again on the shoulder pads later so we'll see another appearance of that and then we move on to the uh, sand golem I use for light colored leather bits in between the pieces of chain mail and then his hood and I think the boots get this also. I guess we'll see here in a second. That's another thing about doing the black for the metals. I, I can get some brown on it here because I know I'm going to hit it with the uh, tarnished steel later mm -hmm. and clean up my bits and things like that. Then we pick out the hood necklace. He has uh, some leather around the shoulders up there. And uh, he's got a little bit on the back here and then like the actual belt is a much darker brown so that'll be here in a few but yep just grabbing the boots and the belt or the the boots and the hood and the little lightly leather the light colored leather bits on old clovis here i think clovis i think he was the first model that i painted um out of all the die inspired models and he's kind of he's kind of been one of my favorites he's still alive in the show currently so every week i'm rooting for more clovis here's grim black's uh, second appearance we're picking out some metal bits on the shoulder pads here and then we will get the shield and i don't think we get the metal bits on the weapon yet i think we save those for <laughs> grim black's uh third appearance Yeah, I've just become a huge fan, you know, the whole slap chop method. You can kind of just move between the colors how you need to. And you can do so many models just so quickly. Yeah. Yeah, like here on the shield, I'm just throwing the black on there. I'm not super concerned with it. It can be thinner and thicker at parts because mm -hmm. like a metal shield, you're going to have, you know, some glare and things on it. So I think, okay, like, yeah. And then here I, I move to the metal, which the tarnished steel by uh reaper it comes out real thick at first and i was like oh cool but i just give it like a very uh 
I don't know if I'd call it a splotchy, but like I miss some parts purposely so that the shield has kind of a wear and tear sort of look to it. Mm -hmm, Right. Um, If anyone's watching the die inspired show, uh, you know, these guys aren't in a very nice area. So their stuff's getting beat up. And then I start picking up the chain mail. I get a little bit of uh, metallic on the medallion there just because I want it to have a little shine on some of those high points. Bump the camera pretty good, apparently. And uh, yeah, we just we're picking out the metal bits on old Clovis here. And this is uh, one of the other Clovises that did not get the metals done to him. So I grab him while I got things out and I pick out his little metal bits that never got done when I painted this model previously. Uh, so all in right now, how many colors does Clovis have total when painting? Um, skin tone, uh, sand golem, grim black, hardened leather. He gets fire giant orange on the sleeves, which now that you mention it does not make it into the video. So I don't know if I just missed that part when I was editing. Cause this is, for the most part, this was like one big video that I painted kind of all these guys in and I've been splicing out each miniature as we release them. So there's some parts that get missed. Like you see his sleeves right now are white. They get orange and so do his pants and his pants also get some white and none of that makes it into the video. <laughs> I'm, I'm realizing this right now, looking at the other Clovis model there in the background. <laughs> Orange and white don't get it, but how many colors? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Awesome. Okay, yeah. look, he has yeah. orange sleeves. He's got white pants. Um, <laughs> I didn't record painting the yellow here on the shoulder pad, but it is zealot yellow. Give it time to dry. And then he has like a kind of a decoration squiggly sort of thing that's going to get done in slaughter red. Um. The sleeves were in orange. The leather sleeve pieces, those are in the hardened leather speed paint along with his his main belt there. The crossbow was done in dark wood. Man, I missed. The maw. Uh, Seeing you do the Fu Manchu, how do you like using the speed paints for kind of those light details where you're, you're, you're obviously doing this going, I can't mess this up. Um, you're doing it going, I shouldn't mess this up. <laughs> because <laughs> if you do mess it up, I usually just immediately dunk my brush in water and kind of just wash away what I've done. Right. Yeah. Give yeah. it, give it time to dry and try again. Another nice thing about the speed paint, they're very beginner friendly and uh, they have that forgiveness because you can kind of like wash things off as long as you catch them quick enough. If you don't catch them quick enough, you grab a traditional white paint, hit that area and then go back and try again later. But uh, I don't do that very much. I just kind of let my mistakes hang out for everyone to see. They're happy little mistakes. Yes, correct. But yep, we're uh, just picking out part of the weapon. We're going to drop our minis and hope that they don't break. Uh, And then getting part of the grip here. And that is going to be it for Clovis. Uh, I do apologize that we didn't get the fire giant orange and the uh, whatever the white is named on here. Uh, But oh, and then I go back and realize that I don't like part of... uh, that strap being brown so i go ahead and give it some black but holy white that's the name of white but once again thanks for checking out a video this was another short die inspired one and we'll see you guys next time see you guys thanks for joining us oh and i pick out some eyebrows bye bye
Hey everyone, thanks for checking out the video. Don't forget to do the YouTube things for us. Like, subscribe, drop a comment on the video. There are links below to our Discord channel. You can come in, chat with us, hang out. Uh, if there's anything special you'd like to see, that's a great place to put it. And follow us on Instagram. Uh, until next time, bye.